Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Service No Universe. Hope you guys are doing well. Today we'll be discussing about in how many different ways we can uh, loop through JavaScript array and objects. So let's begin with the video and let's create a simple array. Uh, I'll create an array called modules and these are nothing but the modules of service now. I'll say ITSM is a module and Sampro is a module. GRC is a module and then I'll add service portal. Service portal is a module. Okay, so now uh, the basic one uh, everyone knows that is a for loop. So here I'll show you the difference when I discuss uh, the next method. Okay. Dot modules i is less than modules dot length. Then i plus plus. Okay, and here I'll use gs dot info function to just print the index plus the value of the current element. Okay, modules of i. Okay, let me just run this. So we got uh, ITSM at zeroth position, uh, zeroth index, and service portal at third index. That is correct. Okay. Now let me go to the next one, uh, next method in uh, how we can access the, how we can loop through um, the array. Okay. It's a for each uh, for each function, so it can be written like this, each. And then if you search on uh, Google uh, for for each, then you might be getting like this. Uh, item that is the current element then the index that is the index then uh, the function is defined like this okay so this is nothing but a function itself if you hover over this then you can see it's a function itself but this function type declaration is not uh, supported in service now uh, the javascript which is used in service now so what we can do is we'll just remove this and add function here function okay now uh, here also uh, I'll use gs dot info function, gs dot info, and uh, we have the index plus space. I'll do item, okay, and I'll just have the tab here, okay. So let me print out this. Okay. You see, there is no difference in the output. This is the output from the for loop, and this is the output from the for each. Now what is the difference is when uh, there is an empty element in the array. When there's an empty element in the array, this for loop will process that as well, but the for each loop will not process that. Okay, let me just run this. Okay, now you see uh, in the for loops output uh, at the second position in the second index, we, we have got undefined because uh, there is no element here. But in the for each output, you can see there is uh, it has not printed the second index itself because that uh, the empty object will not be processed here so whenever we get such requirement where uh, we might receive something uh, some empty elements in the array then might be it is best to use the for each uh, for each method okay so let's proceed with the next method that is the map function and this map function will not alter the existing array like you can see uh, this uh, 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 you, uh, the map function will not alter the existing array here we are altering the existing ones right here I can change, uh, like I can do modules of i is equal to test. Okay, uh, modules of i is test. Now, when I print this gs dot info after for loop, when I print the modules array. Okay, now if I run this, you see everything is changed to test, test, test. Okay, everything is test now. So uh, this is modifying the existing array itself. This and for each also uh, will do the same thing, but the map function will not do that. Map function will keep the original array as is and it will create a new array. Okay, so how it how it is called modules dot map and same again we'll use function and in the function I want the item. Okay, uh, and here uh, we'll do do it like this okay and uh, as this is returning the response rate so we'll uh, keep that response in the new array okay new mm, i'll say new numbers here because i'll create a numbers array here numbers is equal to one two three four five it's because uh, i want to do some operation here i don't want to do that operation on the string uh, elements i want to do that on the number elements that's why uh, i'll have added this 
so i'll do return as uh, this map function is returning something right so we have to write return here and what i'll do is on the item i'll multiply each item by two okay and let's print out gs dot info the new numbers array new numbers let me print out this oh, okay sorry here i took modules that's why uh, i had to take numbers okay okay you see uh, the original let me print out the numbers array as well here numbers so if i print this so you see numbers array is here as is it is not affected and uh, the new array is created and as i multiplied uh, each element with two we see the in the in the new array everything will be multiplied by two okay so if we want a new array we don't want to change the original um, array then we can use map function here okay let's go to the next function that is uh, uh, the filter array okay uh, we, we can filter the array okay we'll uh, we'll see that here so for example let me uh, yeah variable i'll say filtered numbers i'll i'll do the uh, i have to add the logic same as what i added on the map so uh, let me just do that here numbers dot filter and then inside the filter again i need function and i can add item that is the current element then i'll do return uh, I, uh, what i'll do here is uh, i'll just filter this array and only print uh, the integer numbers okay then what i can do is item mod 2 if item mod 2 is equal to equal to 0 uh, then return that and add it to filtered uh, filtered numbers so now i'll print that gs.info filtered numbers okay if i print this you can notice it has printed only two and four those are the integer numbers okay if you want the uh, odd numbers then i'll just say not equal to zero then it will print me one three and five okay so these are the uh, different array functions where we can loop uh, to access the data from array okay now let's see how many different ways we can access the data from the object okay so for that let's create a simple object here i'll say modules again Uh, I'll say first is ITSM, second is SAM Pro, and third is GRC, and fourth one is. I'll say service portal okay now to directly access the uh, to directly access it from uh, the L, uh, object uh, we can directly use modules uh, dot one for example modules dot one okay uh, let me use the square brackets modules dot one yes we got this modules dot one uh, we got the output so this is for one element right if you want to loop over this then we have a for loop here for we can say variable key in modules and i'll use gs dot info function here also to print the uh, value it will iterate through all the uh, key value pairs in the um, object okay so i'll print the key first and then space and modules of key earlier we did right modules of one we did so now we are doing modules of key okay so you see we got the output one two three four and itsm to service portal here okay the next way and uh, the next way how we can iterate over the uh, object is first we need to get the keys from the array that is uh, there is a function called object dot keys and that function expects the object itself that is modules will add now let me just print out the object uh, so the, the keys okay so if we see that keys is nothing but one two three four uh, this these all keys are pushed to an array and that array is uh, uh, this object dot keys will return that array 
okay if i add dot length this is the uh, way to check the array length right so that will give us four okay because we have four elements here now what we can do is uh, this as this keys is an array we can use any of the functions which we dis discussed earlier so i'll use for each okay keys dot for each and inside that function then item comma uh, we don't want index now uh, so we'll keep it like this then we'll use gs.info and uh, we'll print item item is nothing but we are iterating over keys right so item is nothing but a key okay then plus space and uh, now modules of item okay this will also give us the same output this is also the output uh, for this and this both are same but uh, this uh, instead of getting this uh, we can uh, do for loop okay uh, so th there might be some requirements where we need to use for loop and there might be some requirements where we need to use keys so it depends on the requirement we can use these two uh, any of these two uh, functions okay so this is all about uh, looping over objects and uh, arrays hope you have liked this um, hope you have liked this content and uh, please like the video and share the video and please if you like this content on this channel then please subscribe the subscribe the channel okay. thank you